guys and welcome back to another episode here at Tours to Local. For those of you guys who are new to this channel, my name is Juliana and I'm here to share with you some tips about how to work on a cruise ship. Now in my last week's video I talked about the various cruise lines and how to decide which cruise line is right for you. Now if you've already watched that video, great. Today we're going to be talking about which position to apply for on a cruise ship. So I know it's a little bit scary, ship world seems somewhat unattainable when people see the life I'm living, they're like, oh my god, I could never like get that job. You must have had years of experience. I had just graduated college. I didn't really have much experience, um, but it was all about how I worded things and all about um, just the type of person I am. That's what's shown through in my interview and ultimately gave me this job that I'm going to be doing now for a second contract, which is crazy. Depending on what your personality is like, um, you can have so many different jobs on the ship, there's really something for everyone since it is kind of like a little mini world. Um, you have office jobs, you have jobs that are going to be moving heavy objects, you have jobs that are for entertaining, um, customer service, all sorts of things. So there is something on the ship for you, it's just about finding what's the best fit for you. Now on the ship there are three main departments, that is deck and engine, those are the people who are in charge of working on the bridge, making sure navigation is going well, engineering, all that sort of stuff. Usually for that career, honestly I don't know much about it because they are trained from a very young age. They usually go to some sort of maritime or vessel training school and then are able to get a job on a cruise ship, so that application I mean, it's not something you'll do unless you were actually trained to do sort of, sort of thing like that. Um, so that one, for most people, is probably not what you're going to be doing. Um, the second department is hotel. That's everything from shore excursions, guest relations, sometimes entertainment, bar staff, housekeeping, waiters, and chefs, okay? So that's basically everything that you'd find in a typical resort. Those will be hired directly through the company. Each of these positions, even though it is technically hired directly through the company itself, they all have different ways about going about applying. For example, if you are a housekeeper and you're in Russia, for example, you might be asked to go to a specific agency in your country and apply with them um, just to make the process a little bit easier as far as the language and just, um, they work really closely with these lines. So, um, but all that information will be on the cruises website. And then the last department is concessionaires. With concessionaires, these are the positions you see like photographer, casino, gift shop, jewelry shop, spa, or port guy. Those are the most common positions that are hired through a concessionaire. What this means is that you will be going through an agency um, that you apply for. This agency usually works with multiple different cruise lines and um, recruits them and sends them out to various different ships. Okay, so you're not applying through the company directly. Um, for this reason, I can throw out a couple names for you guys to know to jot down so that you know which companies to look into. For gift shop, you'll typically be hired by Starboard or Harding. Those are the two largest hiring agencies for gift shop. And if you're interested in jewelry sales, that would be through Effie or Starboard as well, I believe, has a jewelry department. If you're interested in working in the casino, say you have some experience doing dealing or something like that, that would be through Casino Careers. It's a very popular hiring hiring agency for casino positions. If you're in entertainment, you can use Castaway. I have a lot of friends use that. Um, that sends people to various different ships, I think for Carnival, Disney, and a couple other ones, but the majority of the luxury cruise lines, they hire just directly through their website. So check to see what your line is like. If you're interested in being an art auctioneer, um, I believe you're provided all the training once you're hired so you don't need too much previous experience, that would be through Park West. If you're interested in working in the spa, that would be something like being a hairstylist, a masseuse, something like that, that would be through Steiner. And lastly, if you're interested in being a port shopping guide, those are the people who are on the cruise, they are hired by various companies in the port to promote their products, so they'll say, oh, if you're interested in buying jewelry, go to this place in port. It's really all about sales and really promoting guests to visit these certain shops in each port. For that position, you would apply to portshopping.com, I believe that's the website. If not, it'll definitely direct you and guide you to figure out where you should be applying. It's a really good, useful resource. I'll be leaving all the links for those websites down below if you want to check them out. Now that I mentioned 
mentioned some of these positions, think about which ones stood out to you, which ones you could kind of see yourself doing, um, and most importantly, think about which qualities would come with all these positions. For example, entertainment means that you have to be in front of a lot of people all the time. Same with port shopping guide, making a lot of presentations, so are you comfortable doing something like that? Um, if you are really good at, you know, um, dealing with customer service, keeping guests, uh, making guests happy and keeping them calm, perhaps um, guest services would be a really good position for you since you're dealing with a lot of complaints. Or if you like um, shore excursions, like just selling people various tours, um, helping them to make memorable, memorable vacations in that way, then shore excursions would probably be a good position for you. And remember that unless you have years of hospitality business under your belt, you will most likely start at the bottom. Everyone starts at the bottom, but it's very easy in the cruise ship world to work your way up. Since there is a high turnover rate, since we are working on contracts, keep in mind contracts are usually six months long, um, sometimes four months, but usually six months, and then you'll have a vacation, for up to six months. I took a four month vacation, which was way too long. Then you'll go back to work on another contract. Click on a position that you'd be interested in and just read a few of the requirements. Maybe print out the page and highlight specific things to read what those requirements are that they're looking for in that position. For example, do they require languages? Do they require an experience in customer service? Remember that if you don't meet all of the acclaimed requirements, that is totally okay. Now, a lot of people get frightened when they read these job listings because they think to themselves, I don't have 10 years of experience or I haven't worked on a cruise line before and they're wanting someone like that. But that's not the case. Oftentimes, cruise lines make their application process seem so scary so that they only get the people who are really passionate about working. There are so many ways to be flexible with your specific um, things you can bring to the cruise line. So if you just show that you have a lot of energy and are interested in learning, then that's a good step. Also, sometimes positions won't be listed on the website because they hire from within the company. Um, that doesn't mean the position doesn't exist, it just means they're not advertising it. So in that case, um, just keep in mind that you can always send your resume and cover letter to an HR person in the company and they'll direct you in the right way. Because who knows, a position could open up next week and by that time they'll have your resume and you'll be first in line to get that job. In my next video, I'll be teaching you guys all about what to write in your resume and your cover letter to make you stand out because how you write your resume and cover letter for working on a cruise ship is so different from how you'd write it on land and a lot of people make that mistake so in my next video next week I'll be sharing you guys exactly how I wrote my resume I'll give you guys a couple of examples and um, hopefully I can help you guys out a little bit if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every Monday. Also, keep in mind that I do make a lot of other videos about my travels, product reviews, guides for various cities. So if you'd like to check it out, please feel free to roam around my channel. Um, you guys are always welcome here. Also, if you have any questions about what it's like to work on a cruise ship, of course, just browse through my videos I've already posted. And if those don't answer your questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys, that's it. Remember to keep the spirit of a tourist in the mind of a local. Whether you're on the road or in your very own hometown, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.